Let's get started building our first short code. When I'm in a post view, I would like to be able to type Twitter, and it's going to echo out, follow me on Twitter, and it's going to create the necessary formatting, the necessary anchor tags that will link to that page. So that will be our very first step. So let's go ahead and create a plugin to allow for that. I will close this out and open up our htdocs folder. And if I go in here, I go to WP Content and Plugins. And this is where all of your plugins will be stored. Now note that they can either be stored in their own directory or they can be stored as single files. That said, it's a best practice to always store your plugins, your short codes within their own directories in general. So I'm gonna create a new folder called Twitter Shortcode. And I will take that and drag it into my code editor. We begin by creating a new file. And this you can name however you wish. Some people prefer to name it as their plugin name. Some people prefer to call it index. It's all up to you. In this case, we'll keep it simple and call it index.php. Now, in order to make WordPress recognize that we have a plugin here, we need to provide some comments at the very top. We'll do that right here. We begin by saying, what is the name of our plugin? We'll call it Twitter Shower, something silly like that. Next, we'll give it a URI. Where is this plugin stored? Where is the documentation? In this case, let's just bring it to NetTuts. Next, we have a description. Next, we have what is the current version? We'll give it 1.0 for now. And the author is going to be myself and my URI. And again, we'll link to NetTuts. When WordPress comes across this, it'll understand that it is a plugin file, so it needs to then be made available within the dashboard. If I go to Plugins, Plugins, now you'll see Twitter Shower is available. And notice that it has the title, the description, the author, a link to my site, as well as a link to the plugin site and the version number. So make sure that you add this to every plugin you create. In fact, you should store this into a snippets program, and I'm gonna do that right now. I use a tool called Snippets, but there are many available. So I'll create a new snippet. I'm gonna paste that in, and I will call it WordPress Comments. There we are. That way, whenever I create a new plugin, I can paste that in without having to write it out manually. So now, let's turn our Twitter shortcode into something that actually functions. If I type my test post, and we will preview this. Note that at this point, the shortcode simply displays and no processing is happening behind the scenes. So we'll figure out how to fix that in the next lesson.